In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus NiSO4. This is barium nitrate. This is nickel sulfate. First thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. It's already balanced, so that's nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. This is going to be AQ, dissolve and split apart into its ions. Sulfates, they also tend to be soluble. So we'd write AQ here. With the exception, there's a few exceptions. Barium sulfate is an exception. Barium sulfate is insoluble in water. It won't dissolve, so it's a solid. These two react, they form this solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction as well. Over here, we have another nitrate. That's going to be soluble. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This gives us the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, barium is 2 plus, it's in group 2. So we have the barium ion, Ba2 plus, and I won't write the states, let's write those at the end, and two of the nitrate ions. And the nitrate is always 1 minus, the whole thing 1 minus. Good one to remember. So two nitrate ions. Then nickel, we don't know the charge on nickel here. It's a transition metal, but we do know the whole sulfate is always going to be 2 minus. So this has to be 2 plus. So we have our nickel 2 ion, Ni2 plus, and then we have our sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we just have Ba, SO4, that'll stay together. And then we said we had a 2 plus and then a 1 minus. So we have the nickel 2 ion again. And then we have two of these nitrates. So 2NO3 minus. So we have our complete ionic equation and we can cross the spectator ions out. If I look at the reactants here and the products, I see that I have two nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions, we can cross those out. Likewise, we have two nickel-2 two ions here and in the products. Cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaNO3-2 plus NiSO4. Let me clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus nickel-2 sulfate. Charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. They balance out. Net charge of 0. This is neutral, so the net charge is 0 as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus nickel 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.